our tourism industry has got uh, the highest number of women. Majority of, even if we're talking people who are employed in, in the tourism sector, we quickly um, conducted a survey to just understand who is in this industry. I think it was around 2010. And uh, a part of the study indicated that one, the majority of people who are in this industry is women. Uh, and what you then uh, looked into tracking where they are, you find that they are mostly at the entry levels and they get stuck. They don't proceed. Very few, less than 5% would proceed into executive development posts. Very, very few, I'm sure it's even less than a, a percentage if you talk CEOs or COOs, uh, even lesser when you talk to owning businesses. So, so if you talk this transformation we're talking about, you know, it just is non-start when it comes to, because you know, they are just like recipients. So uh, we, we then were looking into what are the barriers? What are, why are they not, not uh, moving up? We identified because uh, we, we interacted with the industry. We are fortunate that we're working very closely with the industry. Our tourism uh, in South Africa is government-led. We take the forefront to ensure that uh, we work uh, the environment to be conducive for them. Uh, and then they drive. Uh, the actual uh, uh, industry the business and, 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 and with community participation. So what is then happening is that we, we had to have a dialogues with them to say, if you say uh, they have no skills, then uh, if we give them skills, are you going to employ them? Are you going to see them going up? They committed. We, in fact, some committed. We, we started, we piloted. We, like, uh, as I'm sitting here, we would be having our first graduation of 20 women in executive development program. We are paying fully the fees. The commitment that we wanted from the industry was identify them. Those who have been in the industry with the experience and ready to be given the skill. You'll give them time to study whilst working. Thirdly, with the prospect that they will then uh, climb up the ladder. I'm telling you, I have one uh, example of that commitment that we got from the industry. One woman who is working for the Hilton Group is in this Hilton Hotel, uh, is in that program, would be graduating by end of July, already has been earmarked to take over here to manage the Hilton Hotel. So, so uh, that program, we are enhancing it, uh, we are bringing it uh, back to the industry as part of our transformation program, targeting women for executive development, uh, that uh, we, we're looking into partnership with the industry. Because the industry, um, across, the, across the value chain business in South Africa, have come up with an initiative where they are saying, we uh, want to partner with you, government. They have put aside 1.5 billion. So we, we, we are looking into tapping in that funding to top up and have more women who are going to get into this program. Very interesting program, broad, uh, minded, I mean, open, open, uh, in, in, in the fact, in, in the sense that it's not only grooming them to be within those organizations, also grooming them to even take up uh, uh, prospects of managing uh, just outside products. So what we are then doing
to prepare for them a space where uh, we can have them to operate businesses from the experience is that we have this infrastructure program that we are having, that we are funding as the e department, and for operating such infrastructure, we are earmarking women who have a, who would have those skills, but also those who have succeeded. If you look into uh, the, the 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 exhibition, um, we have women who have been receiving awards in terms of success uh, uh, of their products within the industry, receiving a prestigious uh, award is called Lilizela Award. So those are women we have identified that they are capable of operating establishments. And therefore, we tonight uh, in the Women in Tourism, we will be launching campaign that begins to uh, ensure that we have at least our first five women uh, or operating groups of women that we're going to identify to actually uh, be, be supported to operate some of these uh, products, exciting products, unique products uh, that would bring in more of our tourists. But also similar with the youth, we work in because uh, we have a, a, a very youthful population as a country. So, so uh, whether you talk young women or women, you will also find youth in, in both. So we're running such a, a programs targeting youth and women.